What is up, everyone? Um, this is going to be the first in what will be a mildly sporadic series of videos. Um, as you will probably have seen on social media, um, various social medias, uh, the title of this video, the last video I posted, um, I am sort of preparing myself to travel to Lithuania um, for abdominoplasty, which is um, a plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery. I'm not really sure on the difference. Uh, but basically, it is a surgery you can get uh, typically either after uh, being super pregnant or after being super fat. And I was the not pregnant one. Uh, the last weight I saw on a scale was like 185 kilos, uh, and I got heavier from then and didn't bother looking. Um, so, you know, well over 400 pounds. Um, and then at the moment I weigh 128.3 kilos. Um, the lightest I got to whilst dieting was 110 uh, however, I got there by dieting really unhealthily. Um, so as soon as I stopped dieting, uh, I put loads of weight back on. Uh, I was also sort of a bit bummed out with the world of climbing. And climbing was sort of my main source of exercise and what I was doing a lot. Uh, so I was out walking every day or out climbing, out hanging on ropes, um, cleaning new routes and stuff. So you doing hundreds and thousands of tiny pull-ups on Jumars and trying moves over and over again and scrubbing stuff. So you're sort of doing a lot more work than you think you are. Um, but I realized that the world of climbing that I loved doesn't necessarily exist in the mainstream anymore. So uh, I just got really bummed out about it uh, and stopped climbing for a little while. Um, and then because I gained a little bit of weight, the sort of sores and painful marks and stuff I had from loose skin got worse. So I sort of gained more weight and then they went away. Um, and then I went out walking and realized that I love climbing and it's what I want to do. So got back into dieting again, uh, but this time trying to do it really sustainably and really sensibly. So making sure that I'm eating like a wide, varied diet, different stuff, not sort of consciously restricting um, or not sort of limiting food types or what I want to eat. Um, so the one thing I'm doing at the moment is intermittent fasting. Um, so I make sure my last meal is by 8 p.m. Uh, and then don't break fast until 12 the next day. Um, for me, that works really well because it just means there's a big chunk of calories that I'm not eating by not eating breakfast and then I'm not sort of trying to refeed the calories I've missed so uh, it just leads to a nice deficit which has led to very roughly like a one to two kilo drop a week um, which is sort of a bit too extreme but I have a definitive end date so I'm sort of quite happy to put myself in that sort of heavy deficit because it's for a short period of time um, one of the things I'm doing on top of that is every now and again um, sort of I'd say semi-regularly I'm having a cheap meal or a meal off plan or an unplanned meal or a treat meal or whatever you want to call them um, but I'm you know not really hammering myself into that deficit all the time so I'm just sort of an attempt to keep my metabolism working um, and trying to make sure that after the surgery when I start eating ideally like a human uh, and sort of more normally that I don't put weight on because that's the last thing I want to do after the surgery uh, for loads of reasons first of all it's really expensive and it's sort of stupid to fuck it up by getting fat again uh, and also one of the key motivators for having the surgery 
is climbing. It's something I absolutely adore doing, and I don't want to cock that up by gaining loads of weight again or just doing anything stupid. I also don't want to make any mistakes when it comes to the recovery, uh, so I'm going to make sure my diet stays on point after the surgery uh, so I can recover properly and get some projects done. In terms of uh, the climbing, it's been really useful uh, and really nice training at the Climbing Hangar, which is a climbing gym in Sheffield. They've got a few locations around as well, but the key thing is the people who work there are absolutely fantastic. They're really supportive. They understand the process I'm going through and the process I'm going to go through. Um, So we have a lot of fun going in there it's really nice you know going in getting a coffee having a good chat and then going to train uh so i am currently trying to get in there three times a week and then weather allowing i'll go outside one or two times a week um but the goal is to climb in some way five times a week and also train at unit 16 uh, which is our gym twice a week um one of the main reasons for that is I want the surgery to be as successful as possible and I don't want to go back for, I think the term is revisions, where you go back to the surgery to sort of tidy any bits up. I'd rather work as hard as I can now to get that sort of, the revisions done before their revisions, if that makes sense. Uh, So there can be an outcome of the surgery, uh, which is something called dog ears, which is basically where the skin joins back into some skin that isn't quite the right shape and then they have to sew it up and then you go back and then they cut those off um so i'd like to avoid that personally um mainly because my schedule's pretty insane and it won't be easy for me to go back to lithuania to get that done um so i'm just trying to give myself the best chance possible um i'm also really fortunate to know a climber called Matt Wright who I did a podcast with he has helped me out with the fingerboarding plan so I'm fingerboarding three times a week trying to get as strong as possible because obviously the stronger my fingers are uh, the better it's going to be sort of afterwards and if I can do certain things at the body weight I am now and then I'm loads lighter uh, then I'll be able to do them better hopefully on that subject, I'm really excited to be uh, doing some testing with a company called Lattice, um, which is Ollie Tor, Tom Randall, and loads of other people who I can't name because I cannot remember their names. Um, but that's sort of a, a tricky subject because uh, obviously body weight in climbing is a contentious issue at best. Uh, it's a sport that's sort of founded around um idolizing eating disorders and there's been a long time uh within climbing where starving yourself and being as light as possible has been the priority um there have been exceptions to the rule you know people like john dunn and don willens uh sort of bigger guys i think andy turner when he was climbing hard was heavy for a climber um and there's lots of people who are big who climb really well um However, the norm within the community for a long time has been to starve because it's easier to get your power to weight ratio more favorable if you starve yourself, but it's infinitely more beneficial to increase the power, even if it means a very slight increase in weight. Um, If you can increase how strong you are and how powerful you are, you've increased your power to weight ratio Uh, without having to starve yourself, without being super depressed, without stressing about, I had one piece of apple too much and now I won't send my problem that's 35 years old and wasn't that hard when they first did it. Um, So it's going to be interesting to see the results from Lattice, uh, but it's not something we're going to promote on their channel. I might cover it a little bit on here, But I'm really conscious of, I don't want to be seen in any way as promoting weight loss as a solution to climbing better. 
equally, I don't think there's any climber probably in the world who could lose up to 20, 25% of their body weight in a day. Um, so it's just going to be interesting to see what sort of their mathematical model of what should happen with that amount of drop, how that actually correlates to what will happen. Uh, so I'm going to test with them, I think the week before I go to surgery, and then we will test after the surgery and after the recovery. On top of that, I'm going to try and get a plan together of things I can do to maintain or maybe build finger strength during the recovery process um, without sort of straining my torso or causing any issues. Um, because it, I'd just be really annoyed if I injured myself trying to get back after the surgery. It, it'd just be really stupid. So the priority is, you know, getting back as healthy as possible. Um, one thing I'm really excited for is I've got some projects in the peak and some in Wales, uh, some new routes, some, you know, really interesting lines on the grit stone that I'm super psyched to do. And it's hard to not try them at the moment, but realistically, it's going to be, you know, eight to 10 months before I can really get back on them and try hard. So I don't want to clean them up and try them and leave them for someone else to do. Uh, if someone finds them and does them, that's great, but they've not been done yet. So hopefully I get a little bit longer to give them a go. Um, but I'm also excited to be a new climber again and learn what it's like to climb at this much lower body weight than I've been since I was probably like 15. Um, and learn what it's like, like what boots I wear at the moment. I wear unparallel rise pro i think they are they're like tom randall's signature shoe i've also got some of their up lace climbed in mythos and you know realistically the boots i wear don't feel like they would for anyone else so a shoe that is super stiff for someone might feel quite soft on me so i'm really excited to see that transition and see how things feel uh i'm looking forward to getting clothes as well i know that's such a weird thing but Everything I wear all the time is really baggy. So on the list of things I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a suit. I'm going to go to a shop called Outside, which are based in Hathersage. And I'm going to buy some new walking stuff. I'm going to buy a nice coat. I'm going to buy something that actually fits. Um, I'm going to buy some climbing stuff that fits and I don't end up getting caught in my own sleeves because my tops are so baggy. Um so it's going to be ace. It's going to be really exciting process to go through, um, and then just see how the recovery goes. The surgery is December the fourteenth, and it is taking place in Kaunas in Lithuania. Myself and Shiv will be flying out on the eleventh of December, and we are there until the twenty-first. I have spoken to the clinic there more than happy for me to sort of vlog the process, the consultation and stuff like that. We're going to share some content because obviously they're a, a private company, so they could do with advertising. It's quite a useful thing. Um, one of the weirder things is they can arrange for a, a film team, a camera crew to be inside the operating room. So there might be some slightly gross or incredibly blurred content coming out at some point. Uh, but this is sort of the first video introducing the series of the, you know, process of getting surgery and the recovery. I think I'm probably going to do something around the, the testing time when I visit the guys at Lattice and just see what my baseline is and try and have a chat with them about what they think might happen, why they think it might happen. Um, but again, it I can't stress enough how much we're not encouraging people to lose loads of weight. It is purely like scientific research and studying. You know, there's someone who's climbing whatever grade I'll be climbing at the start of December. What could I do afterwards and then what will I actually do? sort of getting a training plan in place. Um, then I will sort of vlog the process of going out there in the consultation. Uh, and then I'll probably do a separate video sort of after the surgery, that immediate recovery. 
and then it'll just be a regular thing until you know we're climbing e9 and doing new routes so that's sort of the surgery side of stuff i'm super excited to sort of share the journey with people and let people know that you know i was over 400 pounds i've lost currently over 100 pounds i'm gonna lose loads more weight um and i'm gonna lose more weight myself and then have surgery which will remove skin and that excess fat tissue so i sort of want people to know that you're not stuck in a situation change is 100 percent possible however it's not the easiest but it's really simple because it's just maths losing weight is purely maths there's a lot of things that can skew the calculation uh, and you know various disorders and psychological issues but fundamentally you need to put less food in than you burn and you'll lose weight if you're not losing weight and it's not you know a medical condition then you're eating more than you think you are or you're moving less than you think you are or both um but it's doable i also want to be super super fucking transparent that transformation photos i post or comparison pictures or whatever you want to call them they will be me as fat and horrible as i looked and they will be after surgery so whilst i I will have a very accurate number for the amount of weight i've lost through diet i will post pictures before the surgery uh, so we can see like the skin and what's getting removed there'll be a video talking with the surgeon about what they're going to do then there will be photos of me after the surgery this isn't some bollocks transformation where i'm trying to sell you some fucking herbal tea and claim that you can lose weight when what i've done is had a gastric bypass and had a load of skin cut off but i'm not going to fucking tell you that this is total transparency i've lost the amount of weight i've lost so far by being in a calorie deficit i will continue to be in a calorie deficit until the day i go to surgery then after that there will be a large drop that people will see and go oh my god he's lost weight we should sign up as a coach we should do this that drop is from surgery it's i'm not saying unrealistic goals for people i want to be totally transparent i will everyone who watches videos will know that this is where i started this is where i got to just with diet and then this is the result of surgery and then this is the rehab process because i want people to know that there are options for them but fundamentally the easiest option is just dieting properly work with a nutritionist work with a coach and you should achieve your goals and then you can make decisions and i want to put the information out there for people who have messaged me saying like oh i didn't know this was an option i didn't know you could get this surgery i couldn't do it on the nhs all these reasons people haven't done it i want people to know that it's something that is achievable so sorry for ranting at the end of a video um but i'm really really annoys me when celebrities influencers people like that try and sell you some shit workout plan or some shit product and what they've done is had surgery and they're never going to tell you they've done that or they've smashed loads of gear in like i will 100 percent hold my hands up i tore my calf and i took bpc which is a peptide after the surgery i am going to take bpc a collagen supplement something you get out of pineapples that i can never pronounce I'll use arnica cream and I'm going to moisturize and that is it. I will explain exactly what I am doing. That is again not a recommendation for people to do that, but it is total transparency. So that is it. Today is the day or one of the days that I get to go and have sort of a treat meal. So it is burgers tonight. It is a fantastic way to spend the weekend. So Whilst the weather's awful, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's useful. If you like, comment, subscribe, all that. The key thing is, if you leave a comment about what you want me to cover, what you don't want to see, what you do want to see, I will do everything I can to sort of cover that process. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me just ramble about TOS. 
as the process goes through videos will get better i'll be working like with some editors working with people filming different bits of content and then hopefully next year my plan is to very ego self-centered make a film about the process of the surgery and then the process of attempting uh, a new route in the peak district so the climbing content might not interest people but hopefully the journey does uh that's it like comment subscribe click buttons do whatever you've got to do on youtube but thank you guys and have a great weekend <laughs>